Introduction Hey kids, in this lesson you will learn chemical coordination and integration in human body. Do you know how we grow in size? Growth is a very complex process involving coordinated action of several hormones. Majorly, growth hormones are responsible for stimulating growth of the body which is released by pituitary gland. Growth hormone has significant effect on the metabolism of protein, lipid and carbohydrates. The production of growth hormone depends upon many factors such as stress, exercise, nutrition, sleep, etc. There are several other hormones which are secreted within the body which perform specific functions such as calcitonin which is secreted by thyroid gland helps in regulating level of calcium in blood. So, throughout this module, we learn chemical coordination and integration. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe endocrine glands and hormones Explain human endocrine system Discuss hormones of heart, kidney and gastrointestinal tract Describe mechanism of hormone action. Endocrine glands and hormones. Endocrine glands are the ductless glands that secrete hormones into bloodstream. It includes pineal gland, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, thymus, adrenal glands, pancreas, ovary in female and testis in male. Hormones are the chemical substances that act as messenger molecules in the body. Human endocrine system The human endocrine system changes many processes of the body by the function of hormones. The hypothalamus Hypothalamus is collection of specialized cells located in the lower central part of the brain. Nerve cell in the hypothalamus control pituitary gland by producing chemicals that either stimulate or suppress secretion of hormone from the pituitary gland. Hypothalamus produces two types of hormones, releasing hormones and inhibiting hormones. For example, gonadotrophin releasing hormone from hypothalamus stimulates the release of gonadotrophins, whereas somatostatin from hypothalamus inhibits the release of growth hormones from pituitary gland. The pituitary gland The pituitary gland is located in the middle of the base of the brain, inferior to the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland consists of two distinct parts, a posterior and anterior lobe. The posterior pituitary is composed of nervous tissue. It stores and secretes two hormones, oxytocin and vasopressin, made in the hypothalamus. Oxytocin is responsible for stimulation of ejection of milk and stimulation of uterine smooth muscle contraction at the time of birth of child. The most important function of vasopressin is to conserve body water by reducing the loss of water in urine. It is also called antidiuretic hormone. The anterior pituitary is composed of endocrine cells that produce and secrete hormones directly into the blood. Anterior pituitary produces growth hormones, GH, prolactin, PRL, thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, adrenocorticotrophic hormone, ACTH, luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone MSH. Growth hormone is essential for growth. It increases the size and number of cells by increasing mitotic division. Prolactin is a single chain protein hormone which regulates the growth of mammary glands and milk production. Thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormone. The principal function of adrenocorticotrophic hormone is to stimulate the
the cortex of the adrenal glands to release a group of steroid hormones called glucocorticoids. LH and FSH are called gonadotropins as it stimulates the gonads. In males, the testis and in females, the ovaries. LH stimulates secretion of sex steroids from the gonads in both male and female. FSH stimulates the maturation of ovarian follicles and it is also critical for production of sperm. Melanocyte stimulating hormone targets melanocytes that produces melanin and is responsible for skin color. The pineal gland. Pineal gland is located between the cerebral hemispheres. It produces melatonin which influences sexual development and sleep-wake cycles. Thyroid gland. The thyroid gland located in the neck produces hormones that regulate metabolism, heat production and calcium levels in the blood. The thyroid gland produces three hormones, thyroxin T4, triodothyronine T3, calcitonin. T3 and T4 are involved in controlling metabolism and heat production and calcitonin helps in regulating blood levels of calcium. Thyroid gland consists of large spherical structures known as follicles. Each follicle consists of a central region containing a gel-like glycoprotein called thyroglobulin. To make T3 and T4, thyroid requires a large quantity of iodine. Deficiency of iodine can cause enlargement of thyroid gland called hypothyroidism or goiter. Excess thyroid activity, hyperthyroidism, in adults results in increased metabolism, excessive sweating and weight loss despite increased food intake. Calcitonin lowers the blood calcium level, helps to maintain homeostasis. Parathyroid gland The parathyroid gland are four small tissue nodules present on the back side of the thyroid gland. They produce a polypeptide hormone known as parathyroid hormone. PTH works with calcitonin to control calcium levels in the blood. It increases blood calcium level. Therefore, PTH secretion is stimulated when calcium levels in the blood drop. Thymus Thymus gland is situated in the upper part of the chest behind the breastbone. It has pyramidal shape and is made up of two lobes that separate the midline of the body. Thymus gland forms part of the immune system. It secretes a hormone, thymosin, which plays an important role in regulating immune system. It promotes the maturation of T lymphocytes. Adrenal gland Humans has two adrenal glands located at the anterior to the kidneys. The outer part of each gland is adrenal cortex and inner part is adrenal medulla. Adrenal cortex can be grouped into three layers. Zona reticularis, zona fasciculate, zona glomerulosa. Cells of adrenal cortex secrete two major types of steroid hormones, the glucocorticoids and mineral corticoids. Glucocorticoids increase the blood level of glucose. The body's main glucocorticoid is cortisol, which is released when the body is under stress and glucose is in such demand that its blood level drops significantly. Cortisol also promotes the breakdown of muscle protein and stimulates the liver to take up amino acids from which liver cells synthesize glucose in a process called gluconeogenesis. Mineral corticoids adjust the concentration of mineral salts such as potassium and sodium in the extracellular fluid. The most abundant mineral corticoid is aldosterone. It acts on the distal tubules of kidney nephrons, stimulates them to reabsorb sodium ions, and excrete potassium ions. The inner part of adrenal gland, adrenal medulla, 
contains neurons that release two substances adrenaline and noradrenaline when the adrenal medulla secretes hormones they help in regulating blood circulation and use of carbohydrate when the body is stressed for example they increase heart rate dilate arterioles and dilate bronchioles pancreas pancreas is dual purpose gland which acts as exocrine gland as well as endocrine gland the islets of langerhans also called islets these are the clusters of cells that are scattered throughout the pancreas islets of langerhans produces pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes and it also produces insulin and glucagon hormones that control blood glucose level insulin is a protein hormone released by pancreas when the glucose level begins to rise and it lowers the blood glucose levels abnormal low blood sugar results in hypoglycemia the most important function of insulin is that it stimulates the uptake of glucose in liver and muscle cells glucagon elevates the blood glucose levels by stimulating the synthesis of glucose from amino acids and glycerol molecules abnormal increase in blood glucose levels results in hyperglycemia reduced levels of insulin lead to diabetes mellitus it results in increased blood sugar levels assessment before proceeding further let us know how much you have learnt drag and drop the correct option ovary the ovaries are located in the pelvis one on each side of uterus and ovary produces estrogen and progesterone estrogen is primarily responsible for the development of female sex organs such as development of mammary glands progesterone plays a key role in maintaining pregnancy it also stimulates the formation and secretion of milk